Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad exponential equation problem. So here we have 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x and its whole square equals to 6 to the power of x and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here the very first step we are going to do is first we use this algebraic formula. You know that if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square. So according to this nice formula, we write our left hand side of the above equation as this is 3x square minus 2 times of ab. Here our a is 3x and b is 2 to the power of x plus b square. So b is 2 to the power of x and its whole square. And this is equals to 6 to the power of x. So further in the next step here we need more simplifications and now we write this 3 to the power of x square as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus here we have 2 times of 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus we break this 2 to the power of x square as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x and here we write this 6 as 2 multiplied by 3 and its whole power is x. So here we again rewrite this equation as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 2 times of 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x equals to here we need to break this uh, exponent we write it as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x so now in the next step in order to solve uh, further uh, here first we move these two terms 2 to the power of x and 3 to the power of x uh, in the left hand side so it will be written as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x first we write it here this is 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x minus 2 times 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x and when we move these terms in the left hand side it will becomes minus 2 to the power of x into 3 to the power of x and this whole equals to 0. And now in the next step here we need to add these two values so that we write it as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x and this will be written as 3 times of 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here we need to divide each of these terms by 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x. So when you divide each of these terms by uh, this value so that it will be written as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x. Similarly here we have 2 to the power of x 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x. And we divide this term as 3 times of 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x divided by 3 times 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x and it is equals to 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x. So here because we divide both of the sides by uh, this value so after division we need to uh, take some simplification these are cancelled by each other and here we combine the exponent of these two terms and it will be written as 3 over 2 and its exponent is x plus these two are cancelled by each other and here we need to take the uh, uh, common LCM of this term and it will be written as uh, 2 over 3 and its exponent is x here these two are cancelled by each other and we get minus 3 0 over something becomes 0 so now here we need more simplifications and you see here uh, if uh, we will take here uh, m equals to 3 over 2 to the power of x then it means that uh, 1 over m equals to 2 over 3 to the power of x okay uh, so here we need to substitute these two values to the above equation so that our above equation is written as we substitute this value equals to m plus this value is equals to uh, 1 over m and minus 3 equals to 0.
and now here we need more simplification so that here first we need to multiply again both of the sides by m in order to write this into the simplified form uh, so that uh, when you multiply by m it will be written as m square plus 1 minus 3m equals to 0 here we rearrange the terms and we have m square minus 3m plus 1 equals to 0. So this equation will become quadratic in m variable and now here we can use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. First we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b equals to minus 3 and c is equals to plus 1. And now here we need the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so that uh, we write its quadratic formula first we state the quadratic formula as m equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a this is our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the above values here uh, so that when you put the value of p equals minus 3 here it will become plus 3 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 3 and minus 3 square becomes 9 minus 4 times of a and c both are 1 so we get 4 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also equals to 1 so here we need more simplifications and we write it as 3 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the value of m but now we can solve this problem for the values of x so here we break this value as first we write the positive value it is 3 plus square root of m divided by 2 here we write the negative value it is 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now we will substitute uh, back substitute the value of m so here we know that the value of m is 3 over 2 to the power of x equals to 3 plus uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 similarly in that case we have 3 over 2 to the power of x equals to 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay so uh, here we have uh, we need to take the log in order to find the value of x so that we take this log here 3 over 2 to the power of x equals to log of 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so here we call this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 but here first we can solve equation number 1 so that equation number 1 is implies that in this way okay so first we can solve the one equation after that we solve the second equation so now we need more simplifications and here we move this x in the front of this log by uh, the property of log so we write it as log of 3 divided by 2 equals to log of 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so here when we move this log 3 over 2 in the right hand side we get x is equals to log of 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and it is divided by log of 3 over 2 so we write this term as in this form x is equals to log of base 3 over 2 into 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the first value of x in this problem and now in order to find the other values of x we need to solve our equation number 2 so that now we move towards our second equation Mm, so first we can uh, copy down the second equation here 3 over 2 to the power of x equals 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 and after that we will take this log on both of the sides of this equation okay so after that if we again apply the property of log and we write it as log of 3 over 2 equals to log of uh, 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so here when you divide this log 3 on the right hand side and after that we can we will use this a uh, nice formula of logarithm so we write this as log of base 3 over 2 into 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the uh, final answer of a uh, second value of x in this problem so we have these two solutions of this question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.